Good morning and welcome. Today, we celebrate the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our opening hymn is Lift High the Cross. Sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those who have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just Savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to all nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit, if only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through the spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Jewish authorities. He is expressing 
his relationship with his Heavenly Father, and he invites all of us to share in that relationship. The closing words of today's Gospel calls us to look at religion not as a burden of laws and regulations, which was the case in ancient times, but as a means to living a life full of meaning and in relationship with the Father and the Son. If we are close to Christ in our prayer life, in our everyday affairs, in our work, in our school, our families, then we will find in the most difficult situations a Savior who says, Come to me, you who are weary, and find life burdensome. I will refresh you. God's love for us is the central theme of the New Testament. His love shatters the shackles of sin and division and invites us to be free invites us to go to him with life's difficulties. It is when we are truly in relationship with Christ that his love comes to us, sometimes in ways that we do not even understand in our lives. We as believers must be willing to surrender ourselves to his will. We must be willing to be in relationship with him. If we think of the Gospels that we hear proclaimed Sunday after Sunday, the Gospels give us a constant example of our Lord's concern for all humanity. Everywhere, Jesus left examples of his mercy. He raised the dead. He cures the blind, the lepers, the dumb, frees the possessed, and forgives sin. There are occasions when he does not even wait for the sick or the helpless person to be brought to him, but he says, I will come and heal you. Even at the moment of his death, Christ shows his concern for those around him. Our Lord is constantly reaching out to us. We need only to reach out to him and feel the warmth of his heavenly embrace. As we heard St. Paul in the second reading, if the Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised Christ from the dead will bring our mortal bodies to life. As we approach the altar when we are at Mass, today as you listen, profess the spiritual communion, and receive the gift of Jesus' body and blood, may that Spirit dwell in us be people known as Catholic Christians who are in relationship with their Savior and who bear the cross in word and deed. May God bless you. And together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. This kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the light of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. In perfect trust, let us bring our prayers before the Lord, who is meek and humble of heart. Please respond. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders and ministers within the church, may they look to the humble and the lowly for inspiration and understanding as they seek to follow Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For diplomats throughout the world, may they urge peace and work for unity among peoples. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, suffering, or dying, especially from the coronavirus, may God grant them blessings of courage and peace. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish and local community, may we work together to lift up the most vulnerable in our midst and to end all forms of discrimination. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that God give them eternal peace. And we pray especially for Mary Ayers, Bridget Maluski, Gabriella Grace Irene, John J. Markey. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God who lifts up all who are bowed down, hear our prayers that Jesus may give rest to the weary and may help build up the kingdom of God. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of us, Holy Church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, that day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundation to the world and arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder ruling your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works, through Christ our Lord. And so with holy angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs>
holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, and this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, and your holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you of all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this time, in this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Grant, we, play, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is America the Beautiful. 